Y'all, who wants to work as a data processor from their own home? Well, if that's you, we're going to go right on over here to this job right here. Now, this is the HUD subsidized housing data processor position, and it is a full-time position and it ranges from 35,000 to 40,000 a year. And of course you're going to be working from home. All right. And says the full data, the full job description is a HUD subsidized housing data analyst or processor compliance specialist. Hey. The description, it says EPS Inc. is seeking highly qualified individuals who are willing to meet the challenges of work in an environment with monthly deadlines and HUD regulatory requirements. A data analyst is responsible for analyzing and monitoring a variety of complex HUD procedures and acts as a point of contact for site managers regarding program requirements. Additionally, they will be responsible for the oversight of a portfolio on a monthly basis. So in the beginning, it said they're looking for qualified individuals with an S. So that means plural. So that means they're not just looking for one person. They're looking for many people. Okay. So let's keep that in mind. All right. Primary responsibilities. Responsibilities for this position include, but are not limited to the following. Receipt analysis and reconciliation of monthly tenant and billing information submitted by owners and agents of subsidized housing properties using application software specific to the subsidized housing industry for properties within portfolio assigned by management. Communicate with the site managers over the telephone and or by email to answer questions from the site staff regarding affordable housing program requirements. Communication with state agencies associated with properties within portfolio. Review the resident electronic files within the timeframes outlined in a contract or request help should some circumstance prevent a timely review. Tracking portfolio status and maintaining of office records using in-house administrative software. All right. Reconciliation of discrepancies found with tenant information and necessary follow-up on the HUD secure system. Maintaining quality customer service and phone skills. Maintaining confidentiality with sensitive documents, information, and internal system passwords. Maintaining a professional and respect respectful team environment. So this position is obviously for HUD housing. Now, if you're familiar with HUD housing, is it is it is a government assistance um, program for low um, low income families. So this would be great for someone who has had and, and their experience within the welfare system or WIC, and it and or if you've had experience being a um, being a uh, property manager, you know whether you've managed your own home or you've been in someone else's uh, property and you've property managed for them, this would still be a great opportunity for you. Now the requirements are two to five years of experience in compliance or affordable property management is preferred, but not required. So like I said, if you have any of those previous experiences within homes, real estate, managing, managing properties, you could still apply for this and you know, you would understand the flow of things. Um, it says strong time management skills and keen sense of attention to detail. Candidate must be able to demonstrate a sense of urgency and be results driven. Candidate must be able to adjust to multiple demands, shift priorities, and demonstrate flexibility. A working knowledge of the requirements of HUD programs preferred, but not required. So that's good. But what they are also saying, like you got to read between the lines on a lot of these positions, even though it says, you know, a working required of a working knowledge of the requirements of HUD programs are preferred, but not required. That gives you an indication that, hey, you need to research what HUD programs are. What is a, what is HUD? What does it stand for? You know, who qualifies for HUD? Like, you know, become a little bit 
more knowledgeable in what HUD is if you've never heard of it. So that way, you know, if you pass through to the interview process, you're not like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's my first time. Uh, mm -mm." No, no, no. You'll be able to say, oh yeah, I know about HUD. I understand exactly what type of program this is. As a matter of fact, I had a family member that was on HUD or on WIC or welfare. So I know about these types of programs. All right. Just, it looks so much better on your resume. It comes across so much better. And it also gets you through those, um, the, those resume scanners, because there's just so many resumes that are going through now that it goes through the actual scanning process to pick out keywords and phrases. So that way, you know, they pick those, the right people for the position. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, job uh, details, full-time work with flexible hours, relaxed environment, paid time off, benefits, etc. It says not looking for out-of-state hires, Vermont residents are preferred. So if you live in the state of Vermont or in and around Vermont area, they're looking for you. Um, this job is, you know, a 35 to 40,000 per year with an eight hour shift. Bachelor's degree is preferred, but not required. And they want you to have Microsoft office experience of at least one year and case management of at least one year. So it is both preferred. So, and it's also remote. So if you live in Vermont, you know, or around Vermont, this would be an amazing position for you. Once again, it is remote. You're making up to $40,000 per year and it's really like little to no phone. So, you know, it's not going to be like a call center type of vibe, if you will. But, um, this would be a great opportunity for someone who is looking for a position in and around the HUD housing. All right. Now I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.